Welcome to Global Investment Insights, a weekly podcast brought to you by ADCB Asset Management. My name is Kishore Muktinutalapati, an equity strategist for ADCB. With an objective to empower you with investment insights, on this program we discuss various perspectives shaping the global investment landscape. This is part two of the podcast in which we discuss Sukuk, an instrument which is gaining popularity as a social and ethical way of investing in line with the rising ESG considerations in fixed income portfolios. To discuss further, we are once again joined by Prerna Seth, our fixed income strategist. Now, welcome back. In part one of this podcast, we discussed what a Sukuk is and how it is different from a conventional bond. You also told us about how big the Sukuk market is and which countries are major players in this market. Let us now pick it up from there. Why didn't you tell us why one should consider Sukuks? Or in other words, what are the advantages of investing in Sukuks? Good to be back here again. The main advantage of investing in Sukuk market coming from the point of government and corporate institutions is that it provides firstly a diversified financing for them particularly for those who strictly follow the sharia principles and uh, they invest in long term uh, developing and infrastructure projects which generate stable long term cash flows and this is a key advantage particularly for uh, income oriented investors another advantage is the inbuilt due diligence done during the issuance stage of a sukuk So the Sukuk structuring process is quite extensive, reviewed at every stage of the issuance by the key stakeholders in order to examine the compliance with the Islamic laws. This inbuilt due diligence is something that lacks in in the issuance stages a stage of a conventional bond. And finally, most important is that Sukuk instruments they provide diversification benefits. particularly during periods of increased market volatility given the similarity with conventional bonds in islamic bonds uh, sukuk have a positive correlation with fixed income assets however with equities their correlation is lower and thus providing an advantage in terms of the diversification some of the advantages you've just described remind me of esg investing does esg investing play a role in sukuk markets ESG investing is has been playing an important role in the Sukuk market. Sukuk is been has been a suitable tool for investors who are socially conscious given the guarantee that investment proceeds will be used for specific projects. As a result, ESG related Sukuk issuance has gathered momentum, but the integration ESG integration in Sukuk markets has been relatively slow compared to that in conventional bonds. In fact, uh, ESG labeled issuance comprised only of 3% uh, of the total Sukuk issuance in 2021. Until 2020, ESG labeled issuance was led by Green Sukuk. However, in 2021, issuance in Sustainability Sukuk outpaced that in Green Sukuk. Malaysia was the first country to issue a Green Sukuk in June 2017. Since then, ESG related issuance has been strong. and has seen quite a strong expansion across key sukuk markets currently indonesia has the largest esg sukuk market after the country launched its first sovereign green sukuk in 2018 now all that sounds very constructive so far but tell us about some of the challenges facing the sukuk market some of the key limitation for uh, and the challenges that the sukuk market is currently facing is the lack of standardization the weak secondary market liquidity and insolvency concerns another key limitation is of enforceability risk many sukuk contracts are controlled by english laws but the underlying assets are situated in another country which can pose risk during during the event of a default and another challenge is in the form of sharia risk where the underlying asset may in fact not be compliant with the islamic law well that's comprehensive prena thank you for joining us on the series Thank you Kishore. Thanks for listening. We hope you found this podcast useful. If you did, please do share this with a friend or a colleague. For more information on what was discussed on this podcast and how Sukuks can play an important role in your portfolios, please reach out to your relationship manager at ADCB. You can also log on to our website www.adcbam.com for more information. My name is Kishore Muktinutalpati and I'll be back next week with more global investment insights.